Hey, dude. It's the... It's early, but it's not that early. It's chilled, but it's not that chilly. And I got my coffee, but it's not that coffee. It's a mocha. Right now we're out on a midweek morning pick. It's not that exciting. It's kind of just a route um, that I've pieced together from tiny chunks of other pieces. And uh, I've never shared it and I figured it might be fun. So uh, this is, uh, yeah, this, this it's something different, but it's not that different. Uh, hopefully we'll get out of this traffic sometime soon. Looks like it's gonna be a gorgeous day. So let's have some fun with it, eh? Come on. Let's do the thing. Figured out why things were moving so slow. That just kind of sucks though. I mean, that's awful for them more than anyone. And that, and my sympathies, of course. But it kind of sucks for me because now we're starting late. I forgot how much scrap I still hadn't unloaded. Uh, brake drums, radiator, aluminum rim, stainless steel sink, and a sack full of wires. Crap. This whole section, this whole, this whole loop has already been dumped. That's why traffic delays making me late for work suck so much. I don't get fired, I don't get written up, I just get a pay cut. What can you do? Next! Okay, now this one, I know there's somebody else that picks through this section. Uh, but there's one bin that I know always has stuff in it. So that's kind of my acid test. We'll check that one first, and if it's completely cleared out, then that means we missed the boat on this one. I think perhaps this is not the one. Now, unfortunately, I haven't made the time to figure out the rest of this section, but that's probably fine because the other person who comes through, since I know there is someone else who comes through, is going to need something themselves. I do know, however, that there's a couple bins on this edge worth doing. That and she, the other picker, doesn't actually come down this way. She, like, comes out that one road and takes the other direction. Ron Bucanero. Special Ron. Heck yes. Gotta make this fit. And then these ones. So many cute toys. Magical. Blessings. I actually don't usually find cool stuff when I'm road siding, so that's pretty neat. 
Christmas trees are, wow. Legit. Well, to be totally honest, that's a bit more than I was expecting. Heck yeah. Going to get the big bag started, I guess. Great start. That's basically all I had in that section. I could keep going and uh, walk a little more of it, but from what I've found, that's definitely the, the meatiest part, and, well, I've got very limited time and a bunch of different spots that I want to make it to before any other pickers or trucks do. So, we're just gonna move forward and hop along to some other meteor sections. First off, though, we're gonna stop at the Little Mermaid in this sort of on the way. The problem with this one is it's highly, highly contested and I haven't actually found anything here in a long while, because so many people know about it. I used to get a whole pile anytime I stopped here, but uh, it is not a secret anymore, that's for sure. It sucks because it was a really nice boost to round off an otherwise typical day. Which is fair because I'm not the only person in the city who could use a few milk jugs. Now, next section. Now this one has been good in the past for a few cans, but last week they were they were absent, so we'll see what it looks like. Wow. I was not prepared for that. I would certainly prefer the cans, but uh, better than a kick in the bag. Once I found those. Now this is another one that's usually full of glass. But this week I got nothing at all. Wild. Well, that basically scratches that off the list. That's all I had in uh, that first region. So now we're gonna travel to, I don't actually have a name for it. It's a different place. I'll see you when I get there. Huh. Just so we're gonna clear it up. Now, not to be a bummer, but to be totally honest, bottle picking has been in a bit of a slump for me over the last little while. And it's probably because I got a little comfortable, I got a little lazy. I was just sticking to the same roots. And I lost a section or an apartment to this reason or that reason or whatever. So as I was heading to this other section I was talking about, I noticed an area that had all their blue bins out and many of them had not been dumped yet because it's still reasonably early. So I figured we'd go on a bit of a, a test run. So far this single section is kind of eh. I probably won't return to exactly this spot, but now that I know this area is here and I can fit it in, well, hold on now, is that a box of wine? Ugh, balls. These things are worth 25 cents, but only if they've got the bag. Without the bag, it's just a cardboard box. And here we are. Now, this little alley would actually be best just included as part of the Kessel Run, um, which is tomorrow, but there's so much pressure on tomorrow as it is, I, I'm just trying to lighten the load more than anything, and I've got time to do it today, so we'll just, uh, we'll just rip through it today. It's such a small section, it's more of a, more of a hindrance than anything on any other day. is not usually so decent. I love these tiny boys. Oh. This one's 
almost sounds like a winner. Sounds like everything. Fit everything in there. Cool. Next. What have we here? Decent. Aluminium from IKEA. It needs a little bit of cleaning. And this box is really heavy. Oh wow. What have we? Here. Oops. Looks like a bunch of CDs. Sweet. So, add that to the stack of treasures. Now we got one last little alley, which I'm not the only one who knows about. Hmm. That kind of looks like I might have missed the boat this time. Well, that's good news. That one doesn't count. That one's not a veg. Uh, that one's not a beverage. So, all right. Well, the fact that that one still had some stuff in it, that's great news because it means I didn't miss out on the other ones from somebody else picking through. So I'll just have to make the time to grab those ones, to, those other bins tomorrow when I'm back in the area. Now we're just about done all of my, uh, all of the route. We could do a little exploring, but eh, I've got a bunch of stuff in the back of the truck and I still need to deal with that. So I'm going to run out of daytime if I do too much extras. Great grammar, nice one. Just one last spot, so let's go hit it. And here we are, it's an apartment. This one is sometimes okay. But it's also sometimes a total waste of time. Two worn out belts. And in the bin bin. Oh, we got a couple. Yeah. Ten cents a piece, ten of them. We got a dollar. Honestly, this one is barely worth doing, as you can see, but it's easy and it's on the route, and sometimes it's got a couple bucks in it, so eh. Apologies if my head looks all bubbly. It's an experiment. See, we are doing experimenting today. So, there is another apartment that's not far from here uh, that's actually really good. Um, like, real good. But, uh, I was there a few weeks back, I went there, and a woman came in uh, while I was digging through and said, you're not supposed to be here. I explained, well, I know, but it's my only source of income, so I'm just doing what I can, and, uh, you know, I'm cleaning up the place, and I'm not, I'm leaving it better than I found it, so <sighs> she was actually willing to have a conversation about it and was sympathetic to my position uh, but she's uh, she explains she's on the condo board and doesn't think other people would appreciate that um, I went back the next week I didn't see her and then the following week which was last week I saw her again she was obviously disappointed to see me again, but she, uh, in her strong accent, she said, you, come on, come out of there, come with me. And, uh, she didn't sound like she was 
gonna lock me up or something. So I followed and she gave me all of the bottles that she had in her garage. Um, which was very kind, but we had a conversation and uh, she said she'll be happy to give me all of her bottles. I don't remember every word that was said, but basically, um, it sounds like we came to an understanding. She doesn't really totally mind if I come by their bottle picking, but she knows I'm not supposed to, and she doesn't think the rest of the people on the condo board would approve, so although I could go back there every week, that would put her in a kind of difficult position because she's totally sympathetic and understanding towards me, but she does have a certain responsibility to, um, to make sure everything is uh, running as intended. So, rather than force her to do something to, to keep up with her responsibilities, I'm just not gonna go there every week. Um, I told her I'd come by every month. Um, and I think that seems fine. We seem okay with that. So, unfortunately, I'm kind of honor bound by the fact that she was actually uh, understanding and willing to talk to me. That's kind of all it takes with me. Like, if you treat me like a human being, then I'll, I gotta respect that. So, yeah, we could be making a little bit more money on bottles today, but we're not because I can't. So, well, okay, I can. I just, I'm not going there. Anyway, I am going to have to expand, and the fact that there is that other section pretty close to here that uh, gets picked up on these mornings, I think I'm in a good position. So... Uh, we're going to continue to grow, we're going to continue to uh, learn, and uh, we're going to make some more money. Now I'm going to go cash these out, again, no cameras, it's probably about 40 bucks, and then i got to unload the stuff in the truck, so you guys might as well join me for that. Alright, back home, good to go. Uh, I wanted to do this a little bit earlier, but I did a bunch of other stuff that started with lunch, and then it just turned into a whole lot of stuff. Today has been busy, uh, but I did find a bunch of scrap. Here we are. We got a sack full of wires to throw in the bin. Got a full set of brake drums. Got a bunch of extruded aluminum bars. Got an aluminum rim, a little piece of brass, some stainless steel sink action, and a radiator. Just a regular ugly old radiator. Aluminum. That's, eh, it's money. Not much, but it's money. And all of the other fun stuff that is not scrap will go through inside. Here's what we found. This was not from today. This is a bag full of kombucha. They're not expired. I think the person just didn't like them very much. Expiration date, 15th of May 2019. So no, they still got time. We got the raspberry and the grape. The next is curiously another beverage. I haven't really looked at these. Oh good, they're vanilla. I was worried, see, they say regular right on them, and I was worried that meant they were like regular flavor and not chocolate, strawberry, vanilla. That would be a horrible mistake. Anyway, did these expire? April, they expired in April. One, two, three, four. Just one short of four six packs of Ensure. That'll be great for going planting. They're all vanilla, and that's kind of grody, but uh, what can you do? Next, you guys saw these this morning, but uh, just to get a closer look, is that. So it's a Wizards of Waverly Place binder set. It includes binder, pencil, pouch, and three dividers, and loose leaf lined paper, which is actually really cute. Like, it's pink dotted. It's fun. Um, but... I have a friend who is ironically a huge fan of Rebecca Black, and that looks like her, which is the only reason I picked it up. It's probably not, because I don't think she was in Wizards of Waverly Place, but let's find out. And then this bad boy. I don't know. Create your own storybook. Eh. Yeah, that's kind of goofy for sure, but it's unopened, and I have a plan for this. And then this one. 
probably the biggest win of them all, and I haven't tested it, so let's see. Oh, zipper seems good on both sides. Unless there's some horrible defect somewhere, it looks like it's in great shape. That doesn't even smell that bad. Oh, and it unzips and it's washable. This honestly looks new. Are those real leather? Yeah, those are real leather. Like if I was a hedgehog, this is exactly where I'd want to be. This thing is legitimately great. I gotta look that up and see what that's worth. Oh, and I almost forgot these. That's uh, those are kind of dirty. What do we got here? Ron Hines, great nitty gritty dirt band. Steve Carroll, Johnny Reed, Super Tramp, Alan Jackson. Twenty years of dirt, nitty gritty dirt band. Now Country Three, Rascal Flatts, George Fox, Blue Rodeo, Country Heat. Let's see. Put the sharecroppers, the uh, bunch of sea shanties. Cool. The Irish descendants, Steve Earle and the Dukes. Good Thurgood. This newfound land, Johnny Horton, Lloyd Snow, Keith Whitley. Steve Miller Band, singers for favorite Newfoundland music, and the Eagles live. Is it even in there? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that is legit. They look like they're in good shape. <coughs> yep. Shame there's not a heck of a second hand market, but I'd probably sell them as a lot on Kijiji. I bet you. Either way, I'd say that's a pretty good haul all around. And this was a pretty, uh, it hasn't, it's been a while since we did a video like this, but it's fun to get back to basics, I think. Um, how's the camera working out? I think I need to adjust the, um, the balance or exposure or something like that. Last time I checked, it just looked a little, doesn't matter. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for coming along, and I have no idea what we're going to do for the next one. Honestly, I have a lot of stuff to do before I get ready, before I'm actually ready to go tree planting. Uh, but that'll be an adventure. I've been looking forward to it. Not gonna lie, I can't wait to get out there and get dirty in the trees. It's gonna be fun. Whatever you guys end up doing, leave it better than you found it. Keep doing the thing.